DJ Porto Bear Review. It's time for me to review yet another beer from my beer benefactor. And who is that? It is Lagunitas Brewing Company out of Petaluma, California, and Chicago, Illinois, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And what beer have they sent me to review today? We have Daytime IPA. This is an IPA. It's a year-round serving. It clocks in at 4.0% ABV and 31 IBUs. Now, in this beer, I know for sure ingredients they're using because they said so in their little notes here that they were so nice to send me. And also the video that you can see online, there are sippy sips of the beer. And what ingredients in it did they tell me about? Well, they told me about using Centennial and Citra hops as well as oats to give the beer some body. And this beer is one that clocks in at 98 calories. How do I know that? Because they say it on the front of the can. And so I guess it's meant to be something you can have more than one of, enjoy with a meal, and not get too smashed, or maybe put a big-ass gut on yourself. So you know what? Now flap my gums. Time to crack the top on this bad boy. Get it in my Lagunitas drinking jar, since we have proper glassware this time, and tell you what's up with Daytime IPA. Ah, nice crack off the top. Let's get it in the glass. Mm-mm-mm. Ah, uh, you know what? I was walking through a beer store the other day, and I didn't, I, this is probably one of the few beer glasses I've wanted to get. I got a crap ton of them. When you review beer, that's just an uh, occupational hazard. And I got this for a buck at the beer store. Kind of like that. They probably got it free and made a dollar off me. Whatever. Huh. Let's talk about the appearance of beer. It's a really, really mildly hazy, pale-ish sort of yellow color. Um, we got a one finger head, super tightly packed bubbles, crispy white. When I swirl it, nah, we're not getting the alcohol lays going on down the glass there. And you know what? We may get some glass lacing. I'm not sure, but take a look at that. Beautiful beer in the glass. It's pretty, but it's got to smell good, especially since it's a low ABV beer. You want some good aroma coming off this bad boy. So, ah, let's dive in for that. Speaking of which, the aroma! Nice citrus, a little bit of grassiness, some herbaceous hops, a bit of mild, mild dankness, a little bit of pine, tons and tons of melon and tropical fruit. It smells like a lot like uh, maybe like honeydew or cantaloupe to me for some reason. It definitely has like sort of a honey aroma as well. No alcohol in the aroma, more citrus zest, and a little bit of light dankness. Smells pretty tasty. Let's dive in. Thanks a million, Lagunitas. Cheers! Mmm, not bad. It's light, crisp, refreshing for low ABV brew. It's got a lot of, lot of um, hop flavor to it for what it is. It's not like going to blast you over like it's a big DIPA or just totally inundate your palate with hops, but it's got enough hops in it to, uh, you know, kind of hide the light malt backbone that's there. It's really dry on the finish. The 4% is completely hidden. You can't even tell this is an alcoholic beverage. It tastes almost, it's like almost like drinking a hop soda. The alcohol is that well hidden. Let me take another taste here. The body, surprisingly, I guess because the addition of the oats is not watery thin. Mmm. I can see drinking this totally in the summertime crushing more than one of them on a hot day this would taste really refreshing especially with the nice citrus hops in there and that melony flavor it the aroma anyway that i got is you know sort of carrying over in sort of a melon type flavor as well with a little bit of grassiness in the back end and a really really faint bit of dankness but very approachable beer that's what it's meant to be low calorie low abv you know keep your day going daytime ipa you know maybe you have one with lunch and you don't have to worry about going back in the boston you know putting the alarms on oh man you're drinking beer you know because people freak out if you drink a freaking beer with lunch these days i guess that's the way the world goes anywho tasty brew not super complex but it is what it says it is as you know i'm a low calorie beer that's got a good amount of flavor to it hmm. so let's grade it at time recording beer advocate gives this beer 3.95 out of 5. All right, so I'd say that's a high uh, high B plus to A minus range and untapped is giving this 3.67 out of 5, which is sort of, is going to be the solid B plus range. Let me take one more taste. Um, for what it is, if this were on a hot day, I would give this a 90 or a 91. I would grade it higher, I think on that hot day. There's a really fresh can of it that Lagunita to send me. Thanks a million for sending it fresh. Um, Today, not super hot. 
Uh, it's a chilly day, actually. I'm going to go with a B plus at 88. Solid, really good beer. I would drink it again. Um, I don't know if I'd like seek it out, except for maybe on a hot day. I probably would, because this is something you could take out on the, you know, onto the beach and not worry about getting crushed out while you're sitting out in the sun. I think you're going to see a lot more of these beers. I see the trend coming now. The more established brewers are making these lower calorie brews uh, that are hoppy, big flavor, kind of session IPAs. And I think they're getting better at the craft because this is way better than some of the first ones that I've had. So, have you had Lagunitas Brewing Company's Daytime IPA? If you have, let me know what you know because I like the Coin Pro Quo and the back and forth. I also really like it when you do me a great big favor and think globally, drink globally, and support the craft beer movement. And it is exceedingly cool when you do me another big favor and you rate comment subscribe and if you can get around to it i don't know consider maybe pushing them google metrics all up into the stratosphere and you know what you got to do you gotta smash that like button because that along with maybe a six pack <laughs> maybe just one of daytime ipa is all i'm gonna need to put my big ass beer drinking happy face on so the next dj's brew tube i got nothing but a hell of a bunch of lagunitas brewing company's beer drinking love for you and you know what's coming for you by now hell yes a big ass pizza